Hey there architects! So you've set up your YouTube channel, but what's next? In this video, I'm going to share how to plan your YouTube videos in three steps. The channel has produced over 200 videos with over 2.5k subscribers within the year. And we'd like to share the processes we use to produce videos that architects can easily learn through this series. So whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, a solid plan is key to success on YouTube. Alright, so we'll break down the planning process into three simple steps. First, what kind of videos do you want to make and who are you making them for? This is the foundation of your channel, so think about what unique knowledge or experiences do you have that can help other architects? Are you an expert in sustainable design? Do you have incredible project management skills, for example? Or have you mastered a specific software? And who are the architects you want to reach? Are they students, recent grads, or seasoned pros? What are their struggles and aspirations? Why should they listen to you? And what makes you stand out? And this could be your expertise, your unique approach, or even your personal journey in architecture. Remember, people connect with authenticity. You also have to make sure that what you're saying is something you're passionate about. Remember, creating YouTube videos still requires planning and work. You wouldn't want to spend hours doing all this work for videos you don't want to make. Now that you know what you want to make and your audience, let's list down some ideas. You want to write down at least five video ideas. Make sure they align with your expertise and what your audience needs. Let's say, for example, you're years into your career and you want to make content to help architecture students. So let's say, for example, some relevant content to them and what you can teach as a seasoned architect could be tutorials on software, tips for portfolio building, or content on new trends in architecture. You can even get creative with it. A good content idea would be like ranking architecture software or what it's like working as an architect. But if you're still having a hard time thinking of topics, you can always use AI tools for keyword research and to find trending topics. An underrated AI tool that we use here at MGS is Answer the Public and ChatGPT. The first three prompts for Answer the Public are free and it refreshes daily. So you have to wait quite a bit, but it's super useful for answering trending questions around the internet. Okay, right now let's keep it short and simple and ask about architecture, for example. So it gives you a list of most WH questions that people are searching for in Google. So let's pick a question to answer for our video topic. So which architecture has the highest salary? Sounds interesting and a good video topic for students, right? So you can easily add that to your list. So ChatGPT could also do this. And all you have to do is have a specific prompt like what architecture topics are trending in the US for architecture students? I think a video on biophilic design sounds good. So now you have another topic like that. It just takes so much time and mental energy to think of exciting topics. So save yourself the time and energy by just using AI tools. Let's pick out an easy yet interesting video topic like which job in architecture has the highest salary? You want to always check out other successful architecture YouTubers and how they title and thumbnail their videos. So based on just typing the topic, we see different titles. So I like the term salary breakdown. So let's title our video something like how much do architects earn a salary breakdown. It's simple and straight to the point and you instantly get the topic of the video, which we want. Based on the different thumbnails, we can keep it simple with your, just your face and elements about money. Okay, now we have the thumbnail and let's start with formulating the hook. The hook should be simple, especially if it's instructional. You can also start with a story or experience you had or a little flex about your credentials and what you know. We want to make viewers care for the content and watch till the end and a good quality hook quite literally hooks them into watching your video. So for example, this video's hook is, hey there architects, so you've set up your YouTube channel, but what's next? It gets the point across and hooks people into learning how to plan your videos. A good rule of thumb is to keep it short and communicate to viewers in the first sentence what the video is about. So once you have the title, thumbnail, and hook down, you have the bulk of the work done. So you can go ahead and pat yourself on the back and move to decide when you start scripting, filming, and editing your videos. And remember, 80% of your video success depends on the title, thumbnail, and hook. So never skip these steps. We understand that the architects are super busy. Think about your work schedule. Let's say you have a 9-6 to job. 
You drive home and arrive at 6.30 and eat. That leaves you with a limited time to think about content, shoot it, and edit it. You can spend an hour or two a day to creating these videos. You would find that production becomes a way more streamlined and easier with a content calendar. It's just a fancy way of saying that we plot and let's say every Monday for scripting, Tuesday for shooting, and others. It's really that simple. There are tons of free tools like Notion, Asana, and even just your Google Calendar. It doesn't need to be super technical. So just decide when you want to do a task, putting it closer to releasing that video. So let me give you guys a pro tip. Once you have your YouTube video, you can promote clips of it on other social media platforms like Instagram or LinkedIn. You have no following yet, so this would be a good idea to attract viewers. So that's it for today's episode. Planning your content is an ongoing process, so be kind to yourself. You can always adapt and refine your strategy as you grow. So don't overcomplicate things. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave your ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!